Is it actually the summer solstice? When does summer start? Um, summer lunar. starts like the twenty something. It's lunar. We're close though. Yeah, because we uh, yeah we did just go ahead and get prepped for it early. <laughs> we got some fucking hot summer fits, baby. <laughs> we've got we've got a sponsored fit. Game. Yeah, more, have, move the tits, dude. Oh, move we've the got tits. A no sponsored tits? fit. Oh, I'll just go episode. fucking full Bud Light. Yeah, we got Morgie in the Bud Light fucking NBA warm up jumper. Your man's favorite dude. outfit, the Bud Light fit. Does it look good? Johnny in the yeah. Casamigos Miami Kingpin quarter zip. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm rocking a full fucking fucking one piece, <laughs> twisted a twisted T. Full fucking onesie, a twisted T onesie. It's lit. A twisted T romper. Dude, that like, boy gets me. I love this. How we doing, gentlemen? I feel electric in this thing. I feel like I can conquer the world. Yeah, it does look very good. It the feels wrong not drinking a twist of tea in it, I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. Like if we we're, if we're seeking sponsorship and, and I'm not drinking one, what's going on? Yeah, you can't have Just to let sense. them know. If, yeah, yeah. I know the executives are Promote watching, it. of course. Greg and I, Steve. I drink more twisted tea than anyone on the planet. No. What do you mean? How do you drink more than I do? Oh, c- come on. Fair. You think that's fair? Dude, you I, built like a fucking seven year Every time we get a 12 pack, it should be a four, four, four split. He has eight. It's an eight, two, two. We okay, but you drink less. Often, yeah. If we make see, I would for still it. argue I'm a better sponsorship deal. Why? Yeah. This is a, a. It's for all of us. Incorrect. It's not. Why are you trying to single anyone out here? I'm gonna hide that email if it comes. That's just what I'm saying. Well, yeah. I'm changing the <laughs> fucking email. <laughs> <laughs> but we can all be sponsored. We could. But you're, you have a great sponsorship, Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> feels right. You're correctly <laughs> sponsored. It suits you perfectly. Yeah, but their stock's gonna tank even harder after people see this <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, it's gonna be. You're ready for oh another dip. <laughs> yeah, we, we shorted the fuck out of him before we put Morgan on camera in that thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, what episode is this? This is 45. It's irrelevant at this point, dude. Episode 45. If you click on the episode, you saw the name. It's in. Title. That's true. Keep I'm up. sick of bringing. Keep this up or up. get out. <laughs> yeah, keep it up or fuck off. And well. Welcome back to Welcome back. episode whatever with your sleep paralysis demons. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? What did you send me the other day? The sleep paralysis? What did I say? I said, I said something and you're like, you're literally living sleep paralysis. <laughs> oh, I thought we all were. I don't remember. Garrett is a we sleep are, paralysis I feel like demon. I did something just like, just blasphemous. He is my sleep paralysis. Yeah. <laughs> you did to, something people, blasphemous? Yeah, I mean. That's insane. It's not news. <laughs> yeah, I was just, it was something specific to this week that I did, and I can't remember what it was. It's a, usually people are like, wow, you guys go out a lot, and I'm like, it's Garrett. <laughs> he's, Didn't you go out last night? Demon. You went to park last night, you slippery little dog. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Did you park out? Are you high? You went somewhere that wasn't here, and it was on top of park or under I it. No, uh, Katie's staying over at uh, Luke's place over there. Was it a park over there? Huh? Their did park is underneath it. Okay. Okay. Well, so I, okay, okay fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that and I was like, "This guy just can't be stopped. He he's in No, I was not. I don't even park. know if it's open on a yeah. Wednesday. No, a Thursday. Thursday. It, yeah. it might have been, but I wasn't there. Mm. For the right. Okay, okay. Sure. Well, we'll give you this round. I went to bed at a, a reasonable hour. Sleep paralysis. Dean. I like that for you. Yeah. Still woke up. At Doesn't 11. let anyone else go to sleep, but he'll go to sleep. Yeah. What does that mean? You're a demon. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I have to go to sleep so that I can haunt you in your sleep. Yes. You That's the only time. Yeah. It's part you of get my, me in my dreams. It's part of my transcendent. What is that? Is that Freddy or? Jason. It's Garrett. It's Garrett. It's Gary. <laughs> it's Gary. It's Gary. You are the type of motherfucker to watch somebody sleep, though. No. If you, if you that was a weird it, phase in college. I stopped doing that a long time ago. Dude, if you put your arms up like this and sit in a corner, I'd be like, is it a person or is it, <laughs> is it a or is that my Or is that my hoodie? Is that, more is, that my hoodie? is that my damp hoodie or is that a person? <laughs> Who's wearing an extra small hoodie in the fucking corner? <laughs> hey, I'm a fucking huge uh, medium. That is a youth medium. All right, sure. what is this? The so fuck Garrett episode? I was feeling so spectacular it, in this twisted mm, tea outfit. Now you, guys well, you didn't want to say the number, so we this had to go classic. off. It's the okay, fuck Garrett episode. episode 45. Yeah, Let's okay. fucking jive, dude. Okay. Uh, every odd episode is a fuck Garrett episode. <laughs> <laughs> and what, every single one is a fuck you episode? Yes. No, just the evens. Okay. Yeah. And, and John, John just slips away like he, the prime numbers. Prime numbers. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I feel good today, dude. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, you look good. You Took have, a couple days off the Millie Vanillies. <laughs> I'm on the Millie Vanillies, dude. Yeah. You're, bro, you're back yeah, on? I'm back on the Millie. Oh. You just need, you can't be doing them every day. It's not good for you. No, yeah, every other. Yeah. You're lucky that I had somewhere to go because you not being here two nights in a row, I was about to lose my shit, bro. Dude, I got a little sicky with it and I had to fucking, yeah. hey, you got a little, I had to get well rested and shit. You're probably just jonesing. Jonesing? Yeah, you were probably just like fucking coming off that. Yeah, you were probably Adderall withdrawals. Streak. You weren't sick. Oh yeah, that's a minor withdrawals. Yeah. Like three days off. Yeah. I didn't have the sniffles or a sore throat or anything, but my body like is gonna break in half. <laughs> the only thing that's going through my mind is the only thing we're not allowed to talk about. God damn it! <laughs> uh, I wish. I, why can't I think we, of it? Oh, oh come on, we think of the only thing we can't talk about legally. 
You are so fucking dumb. You're a fucking dumb. ape. Damn. The most exciting thing happening in your life right now. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. My bad, my bad. Oh, my, oh, yeah, yeah, my yeah. My life is so exciting that I don't know. No, it's yeah. really not. <laughs> You're like, huh, what could it be? I was going to sit His in the dark. His life's just so exciting. <laughs> I was going to sit in the dark today and edit videos. Hmm. Couldn't be that. <laughs> it's not that. Yeah, sometimes when people ask me how my day was, I, I like try to keep a, a small list of things to say so it doesn't sound like oh the bullshit that I worked yeah. out. You keep a list of things to tell people. A list of lies. Well, no, like I'll keep like a uh, like a highlights of the week kind of thing because my days are fucking. It, no, it's I would literally like our lives. We we try to not say all the like redundant shit that we do because yeah it's like okay yeah we went out this weekend but we do probably come off really boring because we don't even talk about that anymore because it's so yeah. just like it's just not even cool to well, talk it's about. It's on it's on repeat. And other than that, we don't do anything. Yeah, it's just be dark. Room. Our life has just been on a loop. For it's kind of like the last few time. seasons of like Friends or something. Like it's the same shit. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. But I did fix shit. my diffuser, so that's like a highlight. That's huge. Yeah, fucking I, oh, pod yeah. over. It got, got all the info out. <laughs> it got stuck, and I just fucking mashed it on the table. That's and nice. And the fucking top came off. We got haircuts. Oh, we got haircuts. That dude? was exciting. That's more got a bad one, dude. I think mine's strong. Uh. Where are you going these days, man? Why don't you just come with dude, me? Dude, Floyd's. Little, costs a little bit You're extra, but... Floyd's, dude. It costs a little bit more, Floyd is ripping up your I'm, dome. If I need same day... If it's day, a chain, it's a chain, I'm not going there. Dude, though. if it's same day, if I'm If it's not up. a chain, Morg's not going. That's true. Yeah. If it's the king of the super If it doesn't have super in the first word, <laughs> or cuts in the last... Yeah. In my place, they give you free beer, hot towel, little head massage. Oh, Yeah. It's I get a lot, free. I get it's a lot more, but it's worth it. I get free fear at Floyd's. Though. <laughs> free fear. You get, you get free stress. Yeah. You get sweating up until the moment she turns that shit around and you look in the mirror. I can't handle that. That's why I'm willing to pay a little bit more because I can't deal with that. Anymore. The turnaround. Yeah. I can't deal with going somewhere where I, I've never met this person and oh, no, I know it's, and it's like a you know it's a mid level priced haircut. I just can't trust these. No, people. especially. I'll I don't actually double. know if it's worse if you get to watch it happen or if you, they do the reveal turn. That's around. what I was just going to say. If it's a chain, you're for sure not facing the mirror. Oh, no, the, yeah, I noticed when I started going to a nicer place that they don't turn you around. They let you watch what they're doing. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> no, there's, a like the there's a mirror on both sides. There's a mirror on both sides of you. Well, because if you when they turn you around, you can't see that their fucking hands are shaking like mine. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's the opposite, though. Usually when I go to like a shitty place, I watch, I'm watching it happen to me. I've never experienced this, and this is off the record. <laughs> <laughs> off on the record. I, I don't think I've ever had like a really attractive girl cut my hair before. Like really attractive. Oh, are you worried that your barber's gonna? See no, this? no, but <laughs> no, but my my the new girl that I've been going to is really attractive, and when she's like standing in front of me, I don't know where to look, bro. Oh, I like no she, shit. She was wearing like a crop top with like a like a uh, like a jacket over it. What do you like, mean you don't know where to look? I, I, I couldn't. You know where like, you want to look. I I literally like I was like. Closing Obviously, your eyes. it was just right here. So, mm -hmm. I just I closed my eyes. I panicked, <laughs> and I started like looking. She's like, "Can you turn your head straight for me?" I was like, "Yep, yes, yes mom, <laughs> yeah. yes, mom." So I was straight. fucking yeah. freaking out, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what to do. Can you stop making that? Face? I gotta stop going to her, dude. The the most alarming <laughs> part of my haircut was I get there and I was like, "Yo, what's up, dude? Like, how's it going?" And he's like. It's going. Oh, and I'm God. like, oh, he's going to fucking rape me, dude. <laughs> he's having a bad day. He's like, fuck this kid. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What Thank the fuck God. was I just going to say, though? Something stupid. Oh, it was. The usual dumb it shit. It was something hell yeah. I fixed my diffuser. Yeah. Dude, that's that's a highlight for me. Hey, let the kid cook. That's all he's got. All right, let him cook. He's cooking. Dude, cooking. I'm big on smells. Chef Morgardi. His biggest night of the week is when he goes and sleeps over at Macy's for once a week. <laughs> it's peaceful over there. He's like, well, I, I need to get out of the house. <sighs> It's he's not like, peaceful here. This is a this is a tranquility. No, you live policy. here, and I don't know if you're fucking in my room or not. I've Just never. Been in room. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, peeked through that window frequently while you're asleep. Do you? No, I mean I have. John's done it once. I've done it once. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, Morgan has like Morgan doesn't have any windows in his room because his room's on like the interior of the of the place, and he has just a window that goes out into the a window area. Eight, like a airplane window yeah it's like yeah. <laughs> it's like at the top of the ceiling it just lets a little bit of light in. yeah it's eight that's feet he does his ground. best to block it out that's yeah. purely for fire code reasons yeah it's There's gotta be like no escape, function what is plan? the function of that it, i think you have like, to you I, are legally you have to have a window in a in a bedroom how do you for know it to be called a bedroom a firefighter that, i don't think that's true. huh no, that's 100% true. I think that's just because there's I'm a no, real estate agent, dude. There'd you be no this. light. There'd be no light in you that room. You forget this. <laughs> there would be zero light in that room if it didn't have a window. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's. Yeah, you have to have scoped. a window, though, or else it's considered a closet. Oh, that's. Yeah, it pretty much is. That's why I guess the window makes sense. <laughs> Window's big. It's um, huge. What else happened? That We got that thing behind your head there. 
Oh yeah, why don't you guys chat that up, dude? Oh we yeah, got a media base. Yeah, never, yeah, we've never talked about it. number one if, worst record. Yeah, yeah, so I don't even know if half the people know. They that. probably don't. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you don't know this at all, which you shouldn't, we we <laughs> are music producers. Morgan and I, John's our our uh, groupie. I'm the music producer. Yeah. You guys play the music. And yeah. Yeah. If we have like some new listeners that only know the show, Morgan and I have a group called FOMO, and we uh, we had a record that came out at the end of last year that went number one on dance radio. And number two here, on dude. Billboard Dance, and we just got some sick plaques in. If you're watching, you can see the one behind Morgan's Morgan's dome piece. The other ones are number eight, twenty, and thirty-five. So they put the number one up. No, no, just straight to one. <laughs> just straight to one. No, the other one says number two. I'd I'd get up and get it, but I don't want to mess up yeah. Morgan's little mic you don't set up here. Call yourself out. Okay, shut. <laughs> he encourages us to you're talk done. about it just so he can roast us. <laughs> Fuck you, John. <laughs> Where's yours at, John? You've dude, been I've promoted got so to... many number ones up in my room. It's <laughs> stupid. It's wall to wall. <laughs> Top asshole of all, number one all top time. piece of shit. Top that piece I know. of shit. <laughs> top dumper. <laughs> Biggest wagon. All right. So uh, that, is that recapped up? I don't. I don't have anything. From I don't know. Week. What else? Did, well, you weren't even here last weekend, huh? No, nah, I had to go home. We hung out with our buddy Freak on Vinny, the man. We watched a fucking massive brawl happen outside the window. That was pretty epic. Oh yeah. It was like we were sitting here watching a movie, and I, there's always screaming downtown always screaming but it went like a little like a minute longer than it usually does a minute so i got up <laughs> and i was like what the fuck's going on and there's literally 20 people fighting like girls punching guys guys punching girls girls punching girls there was a person no guys punching guys no, yeah it was, really, it was an inner it was a sex rate um, a sex war a sex war uh, <laughs> but there was when i when i first got it like someone that was already asleep on the floor i was convinced they were dead because people were just tripping over them and they were just limp and then I didn't start filming until like four minutes later, and there's still like 10 people going at it. Dude, people were getting slapped in the video. Yeah, it, was it was good awesome. stuff. I heard them, it's like 3 a.m. I'm like, what the fuck are they screaming about out there? I get out there, they're just like, yeah, they're fucking. It was <laughs> <lit>. <laughs> that was the highlight of the yeah, week for sure. That was good shit. We had a perfect bird's eye view of it. Do you, do you want to go or you want? Um, yeah, this is uh, an interesting thing that I stumbled across. Um, the title is Drug Sniffing Bees. Okay. Oh, now. You have my curiosity. So, obviously, we've got drug sniffing dogs and whatnot. They've trained bees. Uh, nice, Oops. love that. Um, Summer, dude. This is how they. Tra- this is a crazy process. I'm going to go through it step by step with you. So they train the bees by giving them the smell of the bombs or whatever shit chemicals. Bomb drug, drug bomb bombs? and drugs. The bees are then rewarded with a bit of sugar. Mm. So they then are trained to stick their tongue out to receive the sugar when they smell the smell. Bees have tongues. How? Yeah, what, they have the little, they have little. That's cute. That they slurp That's out. Some no, sugar it's more like a, a dick nose thing, but it has a tongue on it. Yes. Okay. So then the <laughs> bees. Not, that's not cute. The yeah. bees that pass this training process are then loaded into what look like little gun cartridges that hold them, and then that gun cartridge is loaded into a fancy vacuum. Okay. So then they stick the vacuum in a bag, and it's smells up all the smell and then they have sensors in these cartridges that see if the bee sticks their tongue out if they smell the stuff there's no way this is yes absurd. this is real and so they're loaded in the gun vacuum they s- vacuum up the smell so they'll just stick it in people's bags at the airport and they stick their little tongues out and the sensors give a fucking boop 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 boop, boop. and then that's the whole, it's the craziest looking thing you've ever seen in your life that's absurd wait so in court well, they're explaining that and i and the, the jury's supposed well, to be like court, okay they find a bomb yeah, <laughs> no, but okay. So say say it's like an eighth of weed or something. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's for bombs only, not drugs. It's I'm sure it could do drugs. If yeah, they can do, they can do drugs. Yeah, but they're they're more concerned with the bombs. I'm just uh, here's my thing. Why they decide bees? I, I don't know how that would cross because they love sugar. Mind. You're you're coming up with it. They're like, well, do- dogs are too mu- dogs are too big. We got to find a smaller animal. Well, think about it. You could have a hundred bees to one dog. By size. How many but different animals did they these? like try before? They That's got what I'm saying. They didn't try like rats or like. They had to have. Um, hummingbird. I don't fucking know. No, rats are committed to cocaine. Committed? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're just their co- team cocaine. Rats yeah, they're, are team they're, cocaine. They're big, they're big on. Wait, I, what did I hear the other day? If you put um, mice or rats or whatever in like an open forest, they'll. And you put a bunch of wheels in there, they'll fucking still run in the wheels. Did you know that? Wait, like a like you know how they love like running ham- in the wheels in the cage hamster wheel type yeah thing? the hamsters so if you put them in in the wild and you just put wheels out there they'll fucking just go to the wheels and fucking still hang out in the wheels really isn't that crazy how did they how why why <laughs> why why do they need to know that <laughs> well I guess it's just it, it, there's like a comparison to human beings so it's just like we, we need we, we just need like to, to fuck reel it. in these fucking studies because they got funding for that someone 
crowdfunded or got us fucking. Oh no, that people. was probably government funding. They government funded that like <laughs> sixty thousand dollars to go out, get cameras, wheels, let some rats out in a forest. Or set someone them up. just spent a hundred dollars doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, I don't know if it was sixty thousand. That seemed a little aggressive. Yeah. I, dude, some of these studies you what? see, like they just get released a fucking shit ton of money to like see what birds' wings flaps sound like. Oh yeah, there's some dumbass shit well, going on it, out there. What do they sound like? Well, if it's a barn owl, nothing. Let's see some Found experiments this summer. Okay. You know, let's have, let's have, let's have a productive summer. I'll let's see what the most... You. Summer of science. Let's see the most addicting alcoholic beverage to like a fucking... Human, something a humane. Human man. Something humane? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, I, all, let's lock each other in here and just put booze in here and just, just let's see what you do to our first. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do some experiments on ourselves. Yeah. I was going to say, I have plenty of experiments I'm willing to do this summer. It's yeah. going to involve us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I'm willing to test myself. We'll conjure some shit up. Yeah, yeah. I would, but scientifically, the data might be skewed. It would be because we'd be self-reporting and we'd be fucked up. No, so if you're a scientist, you hit know. us up. Yeah, you, you can be you the know. fourth member. We got we'll, funding. We'll have like a science. Uh, what do you call it? Not like a liaison. We'll just have like a little science science guy that comes on the show with us. Little lab man. Little a little lab a little, little lab lad. <laughs> <laughs> Should we sign ourselves up for a study like? Like an actual study, like maybe each of us does a different one. That's what this whole podcast is. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of studies? I don't know, like some random, like, like a drug dr- trial, like a or drug something? trial, yeah, the clinical drug trials, sure. something like really gnarly too. Anything but male birth control. I, I'd, I'd sign up. Nah, for that. see, that's one I would do. Because then you get to test it. What well, if you get the placebo? Well, and you're just trying. <laughs> <laughs> My dick got way bigger. I don't, <laughs> so yeah, wait. On the placebo. Oh, I guess they uh, they probably don't test the efficiency in the manner that we're thinking. <laughs> they probably just not with you. who you'd want them to test <laughs> it with. <in> <laughs> <laughs> There's no uh, the women that are signing up for that test are not the ones you want. No, you. Pro- I mean, or it's probably all dudes. They keep probably it you probably just go into a cup and they just look at the count. You know. Mm. I was thinking you just got to go out there and figure it out, but yeah, it's probably not like that. It's probably not. Which would be a blast, but we're still gonna we're still gonna go all in on that experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Single boy summer, dude. Get with Single it, Morg. SBS. It if you haven't heard already, it's smooth sack summer. When you're playing in the summer sun, make sure you're scaped from the pubes to the bum. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. The leaders in below the waist grooming are making sure we all have a ball this summer. By giving our pant, pa- pants partners everything you, they need to stay fresh. <laughs> Dive headfirst into smooth sack summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with our code NOFOMO. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare that summer bod, baby. They have built the su- ultimate grooming bundle for your summer grooming. So remember, that's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code NOFOMO. Now back to the show. Okay, what do you I got? got I, got, I got something funny. Okay. Oh, oh, I, okay. Bet. Okay. I bet. All right, all right. This isn't guy. funny, but it made me laugh. Okay. Oh, so there we go. We really changed There's the not preface. That I have to got preface. something funny to it's not funny. No, this it's funny, but like the content of it is it should, it's not a funny thing. You're so just, it's not funny. For legal reasons, it's not funny. Yeah, this isn't funny. So, um, oh God. Conor McGregor denies sexually assaulting woman at NBA game. Did you guys? I did see this. Okay, so so he no- this is the same night he knocked out the fucking mascot. He had yeah. a night. You know that? So that was supposed to be a skit, but he just actually beat the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I thought it was like I didn't think he just walked out on the court and knocked him out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, the story goes allegedly that the unnamed woman was trapped inside the men's bath- bathroom by security before the MMA fighter appeared, aggressively kissed her, and tried to force her into multiple acts. Fucked up if true, but I thought the funny part was she said the oh God. wait, how does it go? Oh, God. <laughs> oh no, so it says in the article the woman oh repeatedly elbowed Connor McGregor and was able to escape. That's where you lose me. <laughs> oh my God, cut the whole thing. <laughs> Holy That's is funny. that not fair? That's horrific. <laughs> it's fair, but you can't say that. Why not? Well, okay, okay, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm happy you brought it up. Yeah, yeah, holy. That's, if if he gets her, you got get her right? in the MMA is yeah. what you're trying to say. Yes. If, if true, get her. Yeah. Get her well, yeah. Deal. I mean, if does sign her up for Amanda power, Nunez versus be some this pretty woman. powerful bows. Yeah. I mean, if he gets any one of us, we're it's it's game over. I I, I regardless of if we cut this or not, I, <laughs> it will be. Do I have uh, to cut this? I don't think we have to. Okay. We're, we're, roll with it. Yeah. We're on the right. It's, we're on the right side it's, of here. Yeah. We're on the right side of here. But like I, I like. 
at the game, I just don't see how this is feasible. So in in this in this scenario, the security guards were in on it and trapped her for him. Yeah, in it's, the bathroom. That okay. seems which like, I don't. Oh, that see, seems absurd. it wasn't his wife was at the game with him. We, Probably we don't know that. No, I do. I've seen pictures of him courtside. The picture that they showed of this news article is him sitting courtside with his wife. Okay. So this just does. This just, none of this maps out really. Yeah. I mean, if if true, horrible. But I'm not buying it. I'm not. I'll, I'll let the judge be the judge. But yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm if not I was on the jury, I'd be skeptical. Judging. I'd be skeptical. Fair. <laughs> do you think we have to cut that? No, I think. <laughs> I think us keep asking that if we have to cut it, it shows that we're our hearts in the right place. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean. Yeah, we're, okay. we're in the right spot. Our hearts in the right spot. Um, this is a little nugget that I thought of the other day when I was trying to do this. Um, how fucking pure are naps when your boys are taking a little nap? But why does it piss you the fuck off when they're taking a nap? Ooh, like it's so because there is a moment where you're looking at your boy. He's so peaceful, like he's just nooked out. There's and a moment he, of rage, that and comes then as you. soon as you realize you're not getting to do that, I want to. Fuck him. Well, yeah, okay. when me and you were napping the other day, Morgan came out here ready to beat the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah, he's just being loud, slamming shit. Yeah. Well, because I swear everybody, when they nap, they're, they're smiling a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you do have that yeah, little right? smile. Well, because you know it feels wrong. Yeah. It feels wrong. Like, you know you're being bad. That's why they're so good. That's why they're so good. They're kind of it's a... Like this defiant, it's like this taboo <laughs> This little defiant act. Yeah, like, it's a taboo <laughs> type of... Like, ooh, everyone's working right now? What if I were to just sleep? What if I was just nooked out what if on I was a Wednesday just at sleep? noon? <laughs> Dude, nap time should be in everyone's schedule because that just first of all sounds good. I don't need them too often. Like usually Mondays is is a big nap day if we have like a big weekend. But I haven't taken a nap in normal fun. days. I don't really. Dude, you nap. Shut every, the fuck up! Fucking, I've seen thirty pictures of you sleeping yeah, on this couch. Were, that's sleep. <laughs> okay. At one in the afternoon, it's no longer sleep. It's uh, nap. So I took a nap this, for twelve hours. <laughs> if, <laughs> if the sun's out, it's a nap. You literally napped like Sunday. After no, you I was woke just up. making you think I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken naps. Okay, if in that if in anyone that, took as much Adderall as you, yes, they probably wouldn't need to nap either more. Okay, well, I get it. there we go. I think I do need a little. There's some sort of therapy needed in that though, where I, where I get angry. I don't know why I get angry when you see someone napping. Yeah, like when it, it's because I'm very happy for them for like ten seconds. Like I look at them and it's just so pure. They're just yeah. so pure, sleepy little counting sheep being. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, what "The fuck are you sleeping for? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Who do you I, think you fucking well, I think, are? Dude. I think it's it's one. Why if I'm here, why are you sleeping, not hanging out with me? Two, True. why am I not napping with you? Yeah. It's like one or the other. How and, come you didn't bring me with? And yeah. if it's neither of those, then I'm mad. So it's maybe a, it's kind of a FOMO situation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fear of missing the tie-in. The tie-in. Fear that. of missing out on a nap. I'm trying to think of what else kind of gives you that same feeling. Oh, uh, like when, anything that makes my friends happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm not involved in it, anything that brings them joy. Yeah. Yeah. You come back and you just say you had the best time doing something yeah, without me. Fuck, fuck off. off. Yeah. No. Yeah. If like you like you like laugh at the story and then because you, you're like, oh, that was funny, that was cool, and then you're like, wait a second, fuck. If you like you, went dude. home early and then it turns out your boys went to like the sickest after party of all time, I'm like, well, fucking kill me. Yeah, that does suck. Or like, oh, this is a good one. Like if you're if someone else is looking for parking and you're just you're behind them, you're like, oh, and they get fucking those. each. No, uh, like. You want them, you like, you don't want to be patient. And then every time you're doing it, you're like, come on, fuck you, motherfucker. Okay, oh, no, yeah. here's the thing, though. I have never and will never do the thing where you're sitting there waiting for someone to pull out. Yeah, that's not how like when at Costco, when people are like loading up the back of their car and people just park right there and wait like 10 minutes, like you will find a spot faster driving around. That's fair. But Costco does get pretty packed. I can I can kind of back it up there. You got to know the most secrets. places. No. See, I'll just go for the back at, every time. Yeah. Well, like you, the back. You can left walk. corner over there? No, I'll go for the furthest back thing I see. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think it's worth the, the time to fucking... It is for me. I don't like to walk. That, that's your classic dadness coming out of you already, just grabbing no, a I spot just, 30 miles away. Well, no, the worst faster. part is I've watched him like pull into a parking lot at the front. There's plenty of spots, and he'll still drive to the back. I'm like, what are you doing? I don't want somebody to cut me off. You gotta dude. get your steps in, says some dad shit like that. Yeah, right. No, I just walk fast, dude. You'll be able to work off the meal we're about to have. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about grabbing a slice of dollars off. <laughs> <laughs> they have great deals here. Uh, Costco does hit, though. I fucking hate that place more than anything on earth. <laughs> yeah, the people in there. The just, people in there are just fucking woated, bro. I just don't like browsers. I don't... Uh, actually, no. Fuck. It's not Costco. Fuck everybody. Okay. Every time I go to a grocery store, anytime I go to a Target, I'm just like, no. Fuck all of you. Well, Can't stand them. Why are you here? Yeah. Shouldn't you be at work? Go home. Go Order home. it. I'm Order here. it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do you got? Slip dick? Um, slippery, slippery cock? Let's see what I got here. The buddest of light? Buddy light. That's what they're calling you. 
pal light. <laughs> uh, some of these fan submissions are actually pretty good. I have actually a, good, a couple good fan submissions as well. You want to go or you want me to go? Um, I do like th this first one's quick. Let's okay. get it out of the way. Um, carbonation's good in drinks. Is it though? No. Some drinks. Mm. Why isn't it in some foods? Like carbonated soup. Oh. I don't. I I am coming from a place of I don't really like carbonation in drinks. Would you like soup if it was carbonated? I don't like soup to begin with. What do you What do you mean? What? Don't fuck with soup. What does that even mean? That's a lie. You've how many times have I watched you get a soup and go fuck soup? Okay, how many times have I gotten a soup? Many Too times? many times. How many times have you watched us eat and you're like fuck food? Yeah, that's true. You just don't like food. Come on, dude. No soup. No, it's like <laughs> if I'm gonna eat, I don't want to slurp up some hot bullshit that I ha takes me an hour to fucking. Dude, get first of all, it's relaxing. It smells good. If I it want opens if I up want, your sinus. If I want relaxation. I'm not looking mommy. for a soup. I'm gonna fucking beat off. I or think something. everyone hates man. you right now. Yeah, you're wrong. Soup's whack. I think the listeners might hate you right now. What? What? Va like what about soup? It's like I'll just have a nice drink. So but it's soup. alcohol. <laughs> no, I just guy. I don't like hot liquids in general. I don't like hot coffee. I don't like hot soup. It's painful to fucking consume. I'll allow it. I guess. I like pho, but I don't like the soup part. I just like the noodles and shit. I, I would just argue that, okay, so what do you want, a, some a fucking bubbly cheddar broccoli soup? Like, you? no. Okay, no. well, you pick the worst soup. Jesus yeah, they're all Christ. bad. They're all bad. <laughs> what do you eat when you're sick? You don't chicken noodle down? I don't get sick. I'm a fucking robot. Oh, my. Okay. You were sick for like a year last year on the podcast. All first 40 episodes. That was from cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> my sinuses were keeping it on themselves. <laughs> but, okay, okay. Better question is, why the fuck does carbonation exist at all? Uh, it's bubbly shit, dude. It's like, like, was... Was it people were drinking water and they were getting bored? Yeah, is but it supposed it's like to be the fun? process is just even interesting. Like, how did you even come up with doing that? That's a good question. Scientist actually. shit. I don't know. No, I'm just like, what for? What purpose? Well, they dude, think about it. you're in the drink game. You got to spice it up. That's true. Yeah, that's that fair. guy. That guy corner office. Legendary. I mean, because soda without carbonation is literally just sugar water. Yep. So they guess they had to spice it up. But like a lemonade goes hard. Why did we need to? top that i mean lemonade yeah i always i would get a lemonade over i guess so without carbonation there would be no baja blast and therefore i'm thankful i'm grateful for that yeah. does carbonation just cover up how shit soda tastes have you ever had a flat soda it's literally just syrup. first of all i've drank a flat baja blast plenty of time still ribs okay baja yeah, blast but is different it's like, <laughs> yeah that's also not fair yeah okay it's built like by a flat coca-cola fuck off yeah coca-cola no. in general but flat no because it's literally just syrup and water if it's not carbonated. So it kind of... Okay, well, let me, let, me, let me swing it this way. What if it was like carbonated like spaghetti? Like the sauce, like a s carbonated ketchup. I feel like the carbonation for food is just like spice. S food carbonation is spice? That's like, such an interesting observation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, like the, it's mm -hmm. like the X factor, you know? Okay, if spaghetti had carbonation. Just mm -hmm. a little pop rocks in there sort of deal. Mm. I, can get, I can fuck with that. I don't Maybe, know. Uh, food people out there... Run with it. I think I've seen Pretty some fancy place. restaurant makes like, like Pop Rocks, but it's not like f candy flavored. They like use it as like a topping. No, and maybe it was in the menu. I think it was in the menu, that movie. Wait, so they, that again? They put on some like, they inf they have some weird little machine that puts on these little like Pop Rock, like salt oh, crystals. Oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now that sounds pretty good. Yeah, that's lit. Poppy salt crystals? Okay, so we found a middle ground. Yeah, okay. we did. Poppy salt crystals. I don't know if good. those are real, but it's in the movie. I'd imagine yeah. they are real, to be honest. It's got to be. Okay. Um, okay. This one was pretty interesting. What's the worst movie or type of movie to put on during Netflix and, Netflix and chill? Netflix and chill? <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> worst type of movie to put on? Mm-hmm. Um, like a... I don't know. I don't know. I know the best ones. <laughs> you, <laughs> yours might be the worst one. I don't know why that's your go-to. Shrek is wholesome, dude. That's... Hey, no. You know, so. uh, no, I think that hey, might be the worst one, but that's, that's Jay's number one. So, I mean, I think an easy one is just an action movie, right? Would be the worst type. Anything with machine guns or girls looking at that, she's like, I'm out, dude. Yeah, I think I was gonna, say, I was initially gonna say like some cheesy action. Uh, I action would think, shit. even though I do Shrek, like a, because that's not, it's a kids movie, but it's not like a kids movie. Mm -hmm. I would say like a kids, like if you put on like Despicable Me or Frozen. No, Despicable Me might go, but like Frozen. Would be weird. <laughs> well, Frozen's worked for me. Well, I'm just, times. I'm just imagine plowing down in here. Booby you got, do you do that? You're like, like Frozen and the Beast would be weird. Kind of. No, that's got some good songs in it, at least. It does. It's true. I don't know. Be, it's hard uh, to say. Yeah. It just depends on, on uh, who you're with, I suppose. Maybe it's more of a volume setting sort of deal. Mm, yeah, like if it's it. something with like absurdly loud action, that would be kind of... 
I don't know. That could be motivating. That, that could be like <laughs> you're in a war scene. Yeah. You're like fucking Mission Impossible through the puss. <laughs> <laughs> Dodging laser beams. Yeah. You kind of want the background music music of an action movie. Yeah. Maybe like a James Bond. Like a yeah. Right. No. I know. Like a super super sappy drama would be the worst. Uh, yeah. Like like there's been like someone lost a child or something. Oh, oh, yeah, like The Room or something like that would be bad? Yeah. Oh, that like, would be terrible. Or like yeah. or Mystic, Prisoners yeah. or something? Mystic River, Prisoners. And yeah, the guys those, would all like, be, those would all be fun. The guy's just like, you're going to love this. Watch this. Girl with yeah. the dragon tattoo just plays Oh, that. my God, rape scene. No, if you, put on the, <laughs> if you put on The Room, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... Uh, yeah, that would be yeah. fucked. That would like, honestly be... You could be having the best time and they're the most down and you yeah. put that on and be like, all like, right, I'm out of here. Like horror movies, solid play. You know, yeah. Why, little, why is that? It's such a because if, if they get a little scared, it's That's like, scared. <laughs> what do you but mean? Why, the opposite. Are you I'm, not aware? Ooh, I'm scared, but no, yeah, I'm scared. yeah. The problem yeah. with that is I'm the one who's scared. Yeah, I'm fucking scared. horrified. So that that's a great one. Comedy, you can't really go wrong unless yeah. it's a really shitty one. A, a, just like a normal rom com, you know, dramedy. I mean, honestly, the worst Netflix movie to put on is selecting the movie. Yeah, for you, like that's if you why take you, too long doing that, it can just no, fuck no. Oh, that out. could fuck your whole shit. No, up. you have to just have a couple go tos. Yeah, like I, the amount of times that's I've what just I'm put, saying, yeah. the amount of times I've just put on a movie that I've watched a hundred times just because I'm just like, oh yeah, have you seen this? Cool. Neither have I. <laughs> yeah. What's the longest time you think you spent doing that? A day looking for a Netflix movie in general? Like no, like one session, the longest amount of time that you fucking sat there hours. like with a, a girl, or you just talking about in general? I guess in general, because I I know that at at our house in college it was like two and a half hours. Yeah, because sometimes I'll do it and then I'll be like, fuck this, and I'll get on my phone and yeah. then I'll be like, okay, movie. Oh, no, this was, <laughs> this was two and a half hours of like nonstop. I'm not even kidding because there was eight of us. So every single person had seen every movie. Like, oh, I just saw that. Someone, had, someone said that about every single movie. I fucking hate that. Dude. It's almost Especially like you, if it's something that's new that came out. Yeah, it's like, it's okay. like, oh, I just watched that by myself. It's like, why? Okay, this well, is what it's for. Yeah. That should be a rule. hungover moment. I did kind of blow it and watch two of the new Black Mirrors last night. You're a piece of shit. There's new Black Mirrors already? Yeah, Came he's out. a piece of shit and you already watched two Dude, of them. Dude, what is wrong There with could have you? been another Striking Vipers and you watched it alone. You're sick. Imagine if you watched the Striking Vipers There's still by four more. Dude, you yeah, watched two gone. Black Mirrors by yourself? No, I was over there. What is over there? So with Katie? I was with Oh my oh, god. You might with, as well watch it by with, yourself. I was with uh, friends. <sighs> you watched it with Katie, dude. No, he's she, was, fake. she was actually asleep. Cut his mic. She was out his mic for five minutes. Asleep. You watched Black Mirror minutes. with a girl. You were she was asleep, so she you was. watched it by yourself. She, no. Even worse, <laughs> you watched it with a dog by yourself. You're scum. no, no. Cut his mic for five minutes. He's on you're time out. You're scum, dude. What, Jay? What's up? Yeah, dude. Let's have a little chit chat. Um, yeah. Let, what's the next thing? I got a good yeah. one for you. It's okay. just me and you. You're placing the WNBA today. What's okay. your stat line, game one? What's my stat line, game yeah. one? A double double. Right. Yeah. Animal style. You're done. <laughs> You're Don't done. Don't even comment on it. A double double uh, for sure. Just... Like at least, like at least I'm getting. If I'm not, because maybe my scoring is still. I'm not a great shooter, but I athletically, like rebounds, a couple steals. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm running fast breaks, faster, better. Yeah, because I mean, the the big thing is just that we're just bigger than them. Like I don't think there's that many girls in the WA, the NBA that are above 200 pounds. I mean, you're, oh no, yeah, you, yeah, yeah you would yeah. be. You would be the big man. So I might be LeBron in there. I don't know, dude. I think at least, like, we're talking six man of the year, like, points. Like, yeah. you know, like but a they, stat line that's maybe it's not, we're, we're not dropping 30, but it's like 12, 8, and 6. Yeah, yeah. Something. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but have you ever played with, like, uh, I, you probably never would have, but I played a game, one game my whole life, with, uh, like, girls that played in college, mm -hmm. and they actually are fucking good. Oh, no, they can, like, they, yeah. skill-wise, they're good. They're yeah. not, I'm not saying that they're bad. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I know just saying, saying, like, <laughs> athletically, because, I, I mean, I just was watching, like, the, the non-highlight clips the other day. Yeah. Of them, like, literally just, like, dropping, like, a wide-open pass or missing a wide-open layup, like, just slamming it off the backboard, and I'm like, yeah, at least I can do, like, I could get as open as that. Yeah, my... You, you wouldn't do anything. He's not here. Okay, dude. Oh, no, listen. I mean, you're, you're listen to the fucking ninety mile an hour fastball over here. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said you topped out at ninety. No, I never fucking said. Yes, that. you did. No, I never. I Wait, not. for the record, I'm gonna say this on the pod. When you when we do test that at the fair, I say you throw sixty three, max. Such, I threw sixty three when I was literally fifteen years old. Uh, no, they're they're hyping. The I numbers, don't think too. you've gotten stronger than that. Oh, we were kid. We're having fun. Guys have Gary's, guys can't have fun. Gary, grab a grab your cocktail. Gary, back ribs. I don't want it. Come on, Gary, come back. I'm out. He's mad at us. 
Do we no, have to make like, it up for him? Like, I'm, if, we're, if we're trying to do, have a conversation, don't just shut me up. Jeez, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. But um, you come back, dude. We're just playing. We're just having no, guys can't fun. Good. Carry on. Okay. Um, he's not. He's. We're not good. Did you hear that? You're gonna take that as good. That's no, why you do. That's why your relationships are never gonna last. You just believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what trait or group of traits would ca- counterbalance a micro penis? Counterbalance, dude. I need to get this enunciation I, down. I, I don't, you, when you're normally talking, you're fine. You can't read. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you mean, can't read it. My dad's dyslexic. So can you read that one again? Okay. What trait or <laughs> <laughs> what trait or group of traits counterbalance a micro penis? It's all about the energy, big dick energy. Mm. No, nothing. You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you're completely fucked. Uh. You're actually completely fucked. Did you hear the story about there's this one girl who, like, she was dating this guy, and he, like, secretly had a micropenis, and he just hid behind the guise of, like, oh, I don't want to do it anything until we're married. Like, I'm old-fashioned. And then, like, at their, what is it, after the wedding? Fucking. Yeah. Um, honeymoon? Honeymoon. There it is. At their honeymoon micro penis. Ooh, that's a deal breaker at all times, right? That's why the the no right sex after the marriage, marriage yeah, like right after you get married on the honeymoon. That's a deal breaker. And it, to think of all the time she had just waiting for it. Oh yeah, she's just been like she had to have thought that. No, you, reason, that has right? to cross your mind. Yeah, you had to have think that because she said. I think no, they said in the thing he wasn't like religious. But then, but there's no way you don't at least see each other naked at some point in time. She said they never did. He never let it happen. Like no that's, way. I'm saying like that's the biggest red flag. Well, that would be like imagine if you had like a toupee. You'd be like, oh yeah, I've never seen him in a pool until after the marriage. Dude, that's a divorce. That has to be. But you love him. But I mean, people with micro penises still get married. Do they you get were hard? willing to get married to him without sex? You loved him that much. Do they get hard? Yes. I mean, well, how? how what's a considered a micro? Hard. What's considered a micro? I don't think there's actually a definition. It's just no, there a small is. Dick. No, yeah, there is. <laughs> you could trust this. There is. No, I mean, like, I'm sure there's a dictionary.com definition. It just says. Whatever John Marsh has over here. Yeah, there's a picture of you next to the word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it just says, it says. It just says abnormally small. A micro penis is typically diagnosed at birth. How oh, about fucking no? Small. Here we go. About eight centimeters when erect. Eight centimeters? Yeah. What is that? Two and a half inches? No, that's way less than that. A, a, an inch is two point five four centimeters. I think. Don't ask me why I know that. Okay, so how would it be? Four. No, let's see. How many? What did it say? Eight centimeters? Eight centimeters. So three and a half inches? No, that's not, that's not, there's no way that's a micropenis because then I have a micropenis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How was it denial. diagnosed at birth? That's He's what it says denial. right here. Wait, what? Okay, this is the definition. Okay, micropenis, an abnormally small penis. A micropenis is typically diagnosed at birth. So what, it's just like a, it just, you can't even see it? Uh, yeah, it's got to be small as shit. Oh, yeah, so the condition can be caused by irregular hormone levels during the third trimester of pregnancy. Mm. An adult penis is considered abnormally small only if it measures less than three inches, John, when erect. He's got a half inch on him. Depends on if you're doing the right calculation. Usually usually (laughs) (laughs) self-diagnosable. Don't need to go to the doctor for that one. Just hold up your pinky. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Is that I mean, one? you could still do something with that. No. Yeah, I, I think I think we're thinking like the worst case. Like this? Because like three is fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> three is big. Yeah. Three is good enough. Because there, if it's that small, I don't even think you could really get in there. If it's this small? Because like... I've gotten a pinky in there. No, you could get that in there. No, I'm saying just like based on like the... The curvature of your legs and shit. Like, you have to do the right positions. So like, how sure. often are you like bapping it to the base? You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's all, like, all the time. I know, but like, it's, <laughs> it's like when you, you be start, so it'd have to be like flat to even get it in. Well, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's no thrust. There's, there's no weird thrust. position. It's there's a no, lot of no, rubbing. It's just missionary with the legs right here, the pile drive. But there's no, there's no thrust. They're only, they're like <laughs> pile drive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they can only go back like two inches without it falling out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, you just got to mess around. There's, there's yeah. ru- it's, it's circular. Yeah. Yeah. It's more of, they, see, they like that thing on there's top. There's three inches remaining bef- when I'm fully in. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the bottom no, out. No, he's done. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> uh, I'm back, bitches. He's back. Yeah, but I mean, sorry if you do have one of these. 
But, no, um, listeners, mean, yes. of the, just, listeners of the show do not have microphones. Okay, but redeeming qualities. Uh, you're willing to let your wife fuck other dudes. <laughs> <laughs> redeeming qualities. Send her over here. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's Send it, Send right? her to the wolves, baby. I mean, or... Like, I guess you just... You're like uh, fucking vibrator dildo city, right? Vibrator, vibrator dildo city. I mean, city. let's be real. From, from, from what we've heard... They're just always faking it anyway. And there he goes. <laughs> no, I'm telling. I, I, I buried. I would like by <laughs> self. I would like not to think so, but I mean, you've heard you've heard the stories, you know, about you. Yeah. No, it's I. I we remember that sex podcast we listened to. It says literally like less than twenty percent of women can even uh, have an orgasm from penetration. Oh, from alone, yeah. Just yeah. Penetration. That's why you got to do other stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. There's you know, you, spit, you don't know spitting, farting, to. twirling. <laughs> <laughs> farting on it works usually. <laughs> farting on it usually does work. Vibration yeah. in my cheeks is my experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I guess, but it, like if it was this scenario and you got the woman to marry you without sex, like whatever that guy did, it's got to be good enough, right? You just got to be super Or the funny. girl was just lame as fuck. Well, I mean, she probably was. If she's not religious and, and she's willing to let the, and he's not either, and she's like, oh yeah, it's totally just Like not. in this scenario, I'm imagining, because I didn't get to see what they look like, I'm imagining he's just way out of her league. He is? Yeah. Like he's like a good looking dude, probably. <laughs> oh, like yeah, he's, that's got, his he's got a good flaw. job and that's his one that's flaw. His and flaw. she was she's Achilles' she, penis. She was like, yeah, I'm willing to look past not even seeing your penis and get married to you. That's how like beat I am. Damn. So it is possible. Don't give up hope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up hope. Let's see here. What's the strangest thing you've used to do a bump? Hmm. Ooh. This might take a minute. To take a minute. Take a minute? To think. I'm, tr I'm trying to think of a couple. I'm trying to think I've of. I've used a potato peeler. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty wide surface. I remember that. Dang. Yeah. That one was <laughs> shovely. Big. Or um, the side of a can opener. Or no, the side. Is that, is that a, a can opener? How, what side? Wait, no. I'm trying. What was that thing? Was a can opener. Some weird utensil. I would say every kitchen utensil has been tried. For sure. Or like yeah. the end of a fork? Yeah. The other end? Oh, that. but that's just, that's like a good one. Yeah, that's... That's, that's not like the weird. fork end. You get four mini bumps. My homie's dick? <laughs> <laughs> I had your ass. Because yeah. we've done that. Mm -hmm. I feel like every... I don't know. Maybe we're just horrible people, but I feel like everything's just pretty standardized. <laughs> every as long as it gets the Every job device, done. it's just like, what's the closest thing? I think if I had to say the like, worst one that I've, I've used or used is when people have like a necklace fucking spoon. Like I always feel like a piece of shit when I do that. I yeah, feel, anything that's... I feel like I'm in good company. In that, I'm like, this guy came fucking... No, I, I feel secure. You're probably but, some really good drugs. <laughs> I feel secure, but gross. It's like using if, somebody else's straw. If you think about it, the, 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 like, you the, don't girl, use your boy's straw? the girl's fingernail bump is like, seems okay. But like day three of a festival, think about oh. it. It's gross. You see your fingernails on, on that like last day of a festival? Imagine those long ass fucking claws. Yeah, that's... That's pretty bad. That is and I'm talking about like a girl I've never met in my life in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that kind of ratchet. But it's such a good one to use. It is. And it just feels cool. Yeah. But that's kind of ratchet. I had a girl fucking almost like scrape my fucking inside of my no nose out doing that one time. She got like bumped into while she was doing that and just went straight oh, just up my nose. Oh, just touched that brain one time? Holy oh, fuck. probably fast. Didn't even have delivery. to sniff? No, it just injected just straight my brain. Just fucking deposited it in there? Yeah, just lodged it. You were it. up for a couple minutes. So I lodged it in me. Straight to the bloodstream or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have I have this one too in the weird news I saw. Have you guys seen the guy who's aging backwards? Okay, that, what is going on? Benji Buddy. So he's like this 44-year-old dude, and his main thing that he's doing is injecting his son's plasma into his body. And through, like, all the tests that they run, like, of his <laughs> genetics or whatever, he technically has, like, the body of, like, a 23-year-old now. But he looks weird as shit. Well, have you seen what he looked Does like he? before? No. He looked like an old 44-year-old dude, and now he looks, like, young. Really? Yeah, he looks weird. He looks like he got plastic surgery. Yeah, basically. he looked like big serial killer vibes. But this is the thing that goes with it. He spends 18 hours of his day doing treatments to make himself younger. What type of fucking trust fund did he have to obtain he, So for one that? of the things, he wakes up at 4 a.m. and takes 65 pills. And then at night, he takes 25 more. 
So you're just wasting your life trying to stay young. Yeah, he's literally wasting his current life trying to make himself younger instead of just. I mean, he is his current life is just going to be eternal, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's going to live when, forever. Time when you're never going to die. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if he does live forever, jokes on us. He does all kinds of shit. He does like UV light, laser beam shit. Like, I don't, I don't is know. Is he like a scientist or what is this dude? No, he's just like some rich dude who's like obsessed with being younger but the, the weird part is that he takes his son plasma i was gonna his say where is he, every how is day. he getting that well his son has to fucking unload some plasma he has too much plasma every day every day well, where do you I'm get sure, i'm sure they t- maybe take it out it's on like a blood. monday they take out a week's okay. worth plasma's yeah, like, in your blood right yeah. yeah they take out like a week's worth of plasma maybe from the kid on a monday and then they're just and he's good. just he's just out cold for the rest of the week just like sickle cell anemia yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's like jacked though and looks young Dude, if you ask your son for blood plasma, okay. They, well, here, 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 easiest part. You don't ask him. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't do that for sure. But ha, uh, weird. Com- okay. No, I I'm saying you don't have to ask him. It's you're you're my clone. Give yeah, me your okay. plasma boy. I'm with that. Well, we'll see how that. Go do the dishes out. and go get me your plasma. I think I think for me one of the weird things is like how long, if so, say he successfully has aged himself to 23 body now. How long can he can he stop doing it and it's just like now it's from 23 on or does he have to keep doing it to stay 20 does that make sense yeah, no, yeah. It, it does like say he stopped we, doing we all definitely stuff. don't know the answer but I'm down to explore because I would do it because he's been I doing feel like it. you could you could just you would like so it essentially reverses your your genes to like ag backwards yeah so I think you could just do like a cycle to where you get back down to like a baseline and then do maybe go like 10 years and then do it again. That's what I'm saying. Like, would you, I would be willing to take like a year off of like life. once I get 40, just take a year of whatever this guy's schedule and is and then just go back to 20. Up. Just go right back down. Maybe that's the future. That's what we do. We all go into like a little hypersleep chamber and get fucking reverse age for a year. And then we come back and we're lit. But what, what does it say? Like the actual data on like how old he's supposed to be now. So he's 44 years old. What do you mean data? That's but, how but like, what is, what is, what are they saying? He is not 20, 23 year old. His, his, all of a- everything that they test comes back the same as a 23 year old so it's working so, oh. so like if they tested a 23 year olds whatever they i don't know the exact shit the they test micro and, and then his it's the same okay yeah. i'm i'm kind of excited that's pretty wild yeah so if you weren't gonna have a kid here's one pro yeah that's that's kind of that's something and then hmm i wonder what uh, it doesn't have any effects on the kid, though, right? You're just donating blood. It's basically just taking blood out, yeah. He gets, so a, then, co- he gets a cookie on Mondays after he gets How old is the kid. kid? I think he's like 20. 22. <laughs> he's like 20? Yeah. So he's, if he's smart, he has a kid right now and does the same shit. Goes yeah, I would 12. start doing it. Eight, yeah, could you go too far back? Like you age your body to like nine you and have then you to could, be. don't have cum anymore? You're just shooting blanks? Yeah. yeah like I wonder like what, like how it affects every aspect, right? Because, like, would it affect your brain development? Like, you could go back into, like, development phase? I don't think there's a way. He just, like, forgets how to feed himself. <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to steal he's his... yearning for breast milk all day. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to take his son's chick, probably. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. All right, these are stupid. We're, we're, we're going to try them. Anyway. I have one more good fan one, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay this, was, this was one. How do we break the cycle of we don't like anyone who's at all interested in us? We're absolutely repulsed. And we are in love with people who show no interest at all. Um, I'm not like that. <laughs> You're not? Sure you are. What do you mean? Or you'd have a girlfriend. Why? Why? Because girls like you and they're <laughs> not interested. It doesn't, if, if, it, just because I don't like them doesn't mean I, it's because they like me. It could just be, I, maybe I just only whack ass girls like me <laughs> <laughs> have you ever thought about that oh, angle <laughs> shit um hmm well try and put I'm try, and cool. put, try and put yourself in the scenario I mean, you've definitely had a girl who like oh no I've definitely like maybe you were interested in them and they weren't that interested in you and then as soon as they kind of started showing interest you're like I'm not as into it you just you have to you legitimately have to stop putting interest in the people that aren't like you have to define your search results better and only go for that well but like why why do i why because i mean for me i definitely do pursue people who are neglected to me more like i'm way more into it yeah Yeah. that's just because it's kind of fun for a day but why 
Like yeah, I have, everybody there's wants people, something. There's people who do actually like. It's me. because those girls are more attractive than you are qualified to get. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> every girl. <laughs> no, I think it's just. I mean, the that's swamp just donkeys that you play with. Sure, of course. That's they like most you. women. <laughs> that's just human nature. Is what you what you want what you can't have. You just got to be better at getting what you can't have. No, I just think you're just, uh, just the wrong people, you know? Well, but even for me, like, uh, someone that I am interested in, as soon as they kind of, like, flip the switch into, like, wanting to talk more or, like, whatever, I'm like, eh. Really? I'd be stoked. Yeah, because no one wants, ever wants to talk to you. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I'd be stoked. So you're saying, how do we solve this? Like, is, what, is, what is the problem? The problem is a lot of people don't, don't know what they want. Okay. So you have to ver- be very clear with yourself about what that is. So maybe you're just lying to yourself about what you want. Like yeah, almost like, oh, everybody. I say, oh, I want this. Well, want also that. like the like the girl that doesn't give you the time of day, you don't like know anything about them. So like, of but course, I know that I course, want it. Of course, you, you're a little more. Interested. <laughs> I know that I love them. <laughs> you're like, you're more interested because you haven't got to know them at all. They could be horrible people. And then the girls that like kind of throw everything at you, you're like, okay, I kind of got a good idea of what's going on here, and I don't like them because well, they're because they're girls. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but the dynamic. I keep up hope that that other one that isn't talking to me might be a dude secretly. <laughs> that's an angle. Well, the the whole thing is that the dynamic. I think that's why people eventually start dating. It's because the the timing where you seem like you're not that into the person perfectly lines up so that you both are like, oh, I'm actually into you. Like you both. Yeah, kind of that's pull what back. I'm saying. It also, it's like both sides. It's like for each person. Well, yeah, it works. Like, it works both ways for sure. Yeah, because like you could have a flip too, where you're like, "Oh, I'm not that into that person," and then when you are into them, they're not into you. And yeah, it seems all, it's like always flips. Oh yeah, like that. no, I've, that that scenario has happened. Yeah, I yeah. think when you do flip like that, that's when you actually date someone. If you like put it up, like if you like put someone off for too long, and then like you're like, "Oh wait, they're actually like super cool," and then by that time they're just get given up on you because yeah. you've just been a dick or whatever, then it's like fuck. That that can easily happen. How do we prevent? How do we get it to line up better? Well, it just it just happens. It just has to happen. I, think I mean, you if just, you if they if because that is the person you end up dating. But it's, it is. Yeah, it's because it. that means it should work out. Like you both kind of realize, like, okay, this person's actually because everyone has their guard up a little bit. You're not just gonna, especially like in a city like fucking San Diego. Yeah, dude. Now that I think about it, all three of my relationships, there's been a flip one way and then a flip the other, and then you finally fucking yeah. That's crazy. So you just gotta. Well, it's like it's like if if. But it's, it can't line up too early. No, it has to be over time for sure. Well, yeah, as cheesy as it is, like if it's like supposed to work out, like it typically would a little bit further down the road, you know. It's. I think it's usually like about three months it takes for that to happen. So month one, you hate them; they like you. <laughs> month two. Yeah, so it's like the opposite. It flips, and then month three is like, oh, we actually both like each other. Yeah, I think it's usually like you hang out like three times, and you're both pretty into it, and then somebody come draws back, and the other person's like, fuck you but they're still into it and then it just flips. Well, yeah, because it's either like one person becomes annoying because the other person's over it or yeah, then from their perspective, like you're just like reaching at fucking straws. You know what I mean? You're like, why am I wasting my time with this shit? So I guess now with that knowledge, you just got to fucking force that on everything. <laughs> no, but it you doesn't know, work if you know what's happening. Yeah. It doesn't work if you know it. So there's no solution. Because if you're, if you're just like over some chick and then you're like, oh, I'm going to like them next month. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I guess that's why you can never plan that yeah sort of that's why I've just stopped pursuing it's anything. just up to the universe that's, <laughs> that's, why, that's, why, that's why girls are out for me that's why I just haven't uh, spoken to a girl in quite some time uh, we don't know huh <laughs> no, we don't know we don't know yeah, that's true uh, we don't know shit okay so the answer that's a good fucking question that was though. a good question it's a good yeah. question I think that's as, as, as much as we can provide yeah yeah well I mean I don't think we've ever had a fan question that we've answered well we do our best. Yeah, we do. We're only, <laughs> we're only you know only. what you're get, getting from. They're us. not looking for the fountain of knowledge here, folks. No, absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> They're not <laughs> asking Siri. Uh, <laughs> um, if your farts were made into a cologne, what would it be called? If your farts were made into a cologne, what would it be called? Baja Blast. <laughs> <John's with. laughs> uh, ooh, Taco Bell. <laughs> I was thinking something like uh, the Lazy River. <laughs> ooh, that would be yummy by Garrett Bopin. <laughs> <laughs> all by Gucci <laughs> splatter by Morgan <laughs> splat by Bunchy okay we could end it there yeah, <laughs> okay. those, those were, those were yeah. dumb summer's here bitch alright ladies and gents I'm Garrett that was uh, episode 45 perfect that was a perfect ending. Yep. podcast <laughs> that was it um, if you guys want to submit questions to the nope, show just not cut that nope, cut it. Nope. <laughs> we're we're good. we did it over. <laughs> okay <laughs>